Hey guys, welcome back to the South Beach Diet Vlog. This is week three, uh, transition from phase one to two, update with my weight loss and some other question and answers that have been asked of me um, on YouTube. Um, up until this date, I have been on the phase one and this week I started implementing the phase two foods that I could eat and have actually enjoyed it because it being on phase one, I really wasn't bored or anything like that, which you can be on phase one, get really bored and stuff. Um, and when I went out to eat several times on phase one um, and was able to kind of concentrate where they asked me if I wanted to have fries and I asked for an alternative like celery sticks or uh, vegetables and stuff like that and they had no issues doing the substitute for it. So the update up to this point is I have lost 18.9 pounds in three weeks. Um, my body is kind of in that transitioning phase, um, kind of like the butterfly phase, and it's hard to kind of describe unless you've kind of gone through it before. Um, I was at the gym the other day, and I was looking at myself in the mirrors, because in the cardio room we have 360 degree mirrors, and you can see your body, like the different fat deposits and stuff. Um, it, it's changing. It's kind of doing the metamorphosis and stuff like that, and uh, it's it's a great feeling, but it's also a feeling of a little bit of um, frustration because you think that you lose that kind of weight that it's going to kind of like slim up and stuff like that. But with the South Beach, it's you're losing the belly fat first. So I mean, like your thighs and your your booty and stuff like that, and your arms. It's going to come in time, but it's just it's a little bit different seeing yourself from being that fat person into somebody that's kind of going through the the transformation. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating that I'm probably not the only one that has this issue, but I'm the person that I'm willing to say it on camera, uh, that your body will go through the change and stuff like that. Um, so 18.9 pounds, I slowed down as I did the transition, but I mean, it is what I make of it. I have been doing weightlifting and stuff like that. I have, I have been doing cardio and I've been trying to make sure that I do three times a week, at least 30 minutes. Knock on wood, I've been able to get an hour in um, because I kind of made it about me. This is all completely about me, about my health, about not so much my appearance, but longev my longevity in my life, the energy levels and stuff like that. And basically just trying to get there because as we get older, we tend to take the time away from ourselves. So I'm pretty much told my family, kind of made a pact with my family, 30 minutes a day I get from me. And I know for some moms, it's really hard to do. I'm not saying anything against being a mom, but for us to take care of ourselves, to take care of the people that we love, we gotta do it for ourselves. So, one of the things you can do is, if you don't have like a gym membership or something like that, I looked and getting a gym membership for myself and respectfully to everybody that's out there in the, the gym world, they try to hose you regarding the cost and stuff like that. I had a hard time being told that I was going to have to pay like a processing fee and everything else to to apply for a gym and then pay anywhere from like a $28 up to a $60 a month charge. To me, that's ridiculous. Um, but I mean, I have other opportunities that I can take as far as I have access to a gym for free. I can go for a walk. I knock on wood, I have a treadmill that I've had previously that I can knock the dust off of and get out there and do it. So let me show you some of the other stuff that I do uh, just trying to help myself out. One of the things I have, and I think everybody should do, is get themselves a yoga mat. This it's still on the plastic. Um, I got it because I do want to take yoga. I want to try to do the core training and stuff like that. And I also wanted to take the time out that I can roll this out at my house. And it gives me a little bit more focus knowing that it's going to be time to sit down and do leg lifts, do sit-ups, do push-ups. Even if they're modified push-ups, do something. Do squats, do lunges, something. And having this out for me is going to be, is going to be kind of like the cat's meow. I know that I have to get to work. This actually I purchased at a local store that's very similar to a Ross or Marshalls and it was on sale for like five dollars. Comes with a string and everything else. Plus when I do the yoga I want to have my own mat just because I want to be able to clean it and everything else. So this is this. I have my treadmill on the back. If you don't have a treadmill or the cost for treadmills are kind of absorbent um, go for a walk. I wanted to bring the leash out for my animals but if I do if your animals are like mine, they will just absolutely jump all over me. <laughs> I don't want to have that done today. One of the other things I did is I got myself some dumbbells. 
These dumbbells were bought at Ross, and I think these were about $5 also. Um, they're 2.5 pounds, and what I made myself do is I made myself, uh, pretty much anytime I go into the restroom and I come out, I make myself do a set of 50. If it's uh, bench presses with these, arm curls um, out in front, or just uh, basic look over the head, I made myself do 50 of them, like 10 of each exercise. And granted, 2.5 pounds is not a lot, but versus not doing anything at all, you have to start small so you don't injure yourself and you know what you're doing. So I got two sets of dumbbells. I got the 2.5 pounds and I have the 3.3 pounds. One of the other things I got myself um, is a kettlebell. Um, this here is a 10 pound kettlebell I got at a thrift store. And this is actually was brand new in the box, but the box was water damaged. It, come with, it comes with a DVD also, and long and short of it is there's nothing wrong with a kettlebell. I ended up paying $3 for this, and I've seen these as much as $20. I only have one, but I can still do arm raises and squats and stuff with it. And one of the last things I have um, is this. This is resistant bands, and they're designed for your ankles. You can use them for your arms and other parts of your bodies, but these, I wanted to start toning my, my backside and stuff like that and my legs and do leg lifts and stuff with it. The one thing I rec recommend is this one here actually comes apart like that with elastic and, or excuse me, Velcro. And my personal experience with it is when I really start getting into my exercises and all that, every now and then I'll hear it. And then I have to kind of reestablish myself and get this put back together. I don't know how if they have any that are kind of like enclosed. They may have an elastic to it that you can slip your foot through there and your ankle and do it. But I think if there's an opportunity, I would like to have those versus these. And this one here, again, a Ross product, three, five dollars, some somewhere in there. So altogether, what I have um, was under about twenty-five dollars minus the uh, treadmill behind me. And it's something I can use every day. So this is something that I recommend for anybody out there. Take the time out for yourself. Take 30 minutes. Like I said, get yourself a yoga mat or designate somewhere in your house. And I just have a basket that I put it together in. So anytime I go in my bedroom after I get done taking care of whatever, I can go ahead and knock out a couple things. Uh, working on my arms and everything else because all of us, with the summertime coming, want to wear the cute dresses, want to wear the tank tops and stuff like that. We don't want to have the arm jiggle. And even if we do have the arm jiggle, we want to have some definition, uh, the line cut for the bicep and the triceps and stuff like that. So I want to thank you for watching this vlog. Uh, look for a cooking vlog that I'm going to be doing here soon for something that is good for all three phases of the South Beach diet. It's something quick, easy, you can do and you can do for your kids and stuff like that and have your kids do it with you. So this is Jennifer. Thank you so much. I challenge you to do the South Beach diet and get yourself to a healthier lifestyle.